welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Last episode, we helped the Tiefling sisters, the two, the two sisters that are stuck in one body. And we're going to try to progress the main story now, since we got all the companion quests done. And all the main story, it seems like, so far done. Anyway, Your Grace, I have here one of your subjects. He goes by the name Remus. We call him spreading false prophecies, sowing fear among your people. This guy we met on the, at the uh, Oleg's trading post, apparently like a long time ago. Oh right, he was the um, guy we met on the road um, when we were leaving from like in like episode 2 or 3. When we were leaving Oleg's trading post to go and get the, the, what was it? the uh, the fangberries or whatever in fangberry cave and we ran to him the old man before you is clad in tattered rags his gray hair and beard are filthy and matted Jud judging by the smell he has not bathed in some time perhaps years and you have to fight the urge to cover your nose oblivious the old man picks at his beard in silence as if trying to catch lice you're not certain he even knows where he is as if that wasn't enough this Erasto, forgive my words, prophet, blasphemy against the deities, proclaiming we must bow to some false god. The goddess will rise from the forest, from the swamps. You've cut down her trees and drained her marshes, but she will take no more of this. Fall to your knees and repent. She will grant you a swift death. I think he worships the guardian of the bloom. Your grace, you have to deal with this madman. I'm the only sane person in the city, this hideous, ugly city. Its stone buildings claw into the soil and think themselves safe, but the sky will shall open, the earth shall tremble, and the city shall crumble beneath its pride. Erasto, have mercy. Will you be silent, you fool? And another world shall swallow the ugly city and its careless dwellers, and only the rain shall weep for the emptiness left in this in their place. Um, I would know more about your prophecy, Remus. What is this other world you speak of, and what will happen to this city? A different world, fierce and wild, where mountains impale the sky, where rivers change direction, where the very trees talk to the stars. The wild world will come and consume this city, shape it in its own image. It will be the end of all. So maybe this isn't um, someone that worships the Guardian of the Bloom. But how do you know about that? The goddess showed it to me in my visions. She whispered about a beautiful new world, told me she would heal nature's wounds, but I don't want it. She must be stopped. Sacrifices. We must offer up sacrifices. Goats or cows or horses. That will be enough. It must be enough. Tell me about this goddess. I would know more about her. Her fury is like a river after a storm. Her voice thunder in a summer sky. Her touch, as cold and as sharp as a sliver of ice. She is beautiful as a dream. It's been 40 years since I last longed for a woman, but her. So an angry goddess will lay our, our city to waste because we drained her swamp. She must be a petty goddess indeed, if she t takes part in the affairs of mortals even on such insignificant occasions. Perhaps you simply had a dream and it merely seemed real. But, but, maybe you are right. I, I need to lie down. Praise be Erasto. Is that a glimpse of reason? I thank you, your grace. You have turned this poor man towards the light. I'll find him a place to sleep and make sure he's fed and sent back where he came from once he wakes. I think we should expect no more trouble and no new prophecies. I don't think, um, I don't think it's just a dream. Oh, who's this? Dragon. Or dragon. Greetings, my name is Dra Dragon Waradash. I come to you, your grace, with a request, or to be precise, to receive compensation. The road of shields used to run through your lands. It was built, among others, by my ancestors, members of the noble War Adash clan. This means they still own it, even though they were driven from these lands. According to all law, if a bandit takes my father's house and kills him, the house still belongs to me, so I've come for what's mine. So it's an ancient trade route built centuries ago by the dwarves. Here, take a look. The scroll contains a list of expenses for building the road of shields. The cost of laying the stone, draining, cutting, 
fire breaks and so on. You and your people have lived for a long time on the lands that lawfully belong to my people, making free use of the fruits of someone else's labor. Would you now please pay for the work my ancestors did? I, Dragon War Dash, humbly demand compensation for those who are no longer able to collect it. I do not ask for gold. It's better that you give me a house with a shop, which will cost as much as the sum in the scroll. You see, I'm a blacksmith, and I'm used to earning my living honestly, but I can't work without a shop. As soon as I, as I get what's mine, I'll open the shop right away. Then you'll have at least one decent blades, bladesmith. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, that'll help. Yeah, so we'll do it. You agree? Just like, like that? Seriously, I never thought I'd meet in this land of thieves a ruler who so honored the law. You are a truly a worthy ruler. Well, then I guess we'll meet when you satisfy my petition. My respects. Well, that was simple enough. Let's see, do we have anything else? Doesn't seem like it. So we'll skip to the next event as well. 14 days have passed. Who's this? Jod, okay. Your Grace, I brought you an extremely unusual message. It's, how should I put it? An essay on your barony, written by Jubilos Nartho. Okay, Jubilos, and published only recently. I thought you might like to see it for yourself. It's about, yeah, it's the magazine you told us about. Mm, let's see here. Um, we'll go in uh, from newest to oldest. Have you ever dreamed of becoming a baron? It's not that hard. All you have to do is go to the Stolen Lands, a tiny region located between Bravoy and the River Kingdom, and a source of dispute for those two for many years. Miles and miles of woods, swamps and infertile clay, soil infested with monsters, and bandits with something like a white elephant. One can, can't hold it, but also can't give up on it and let the neighbor have it. Just going to kind of skim through it. Okay. Okay, it talks about how um, he like decided to come here. Talks about our achievements are quite moderate. Strong justification. And then talks about how he's offering his help to um to us. Okay, let's go to the next event. Who's this? Willis Gunderson. Your Grace, I demand justice. Crime in the barony is on the rise. In open daylight, I was tricked, robbed, and if that weren't enough, humiliated. A gang of local thugs tricked me into trusting them. They found out about my possessions and disappeared with my treasures. I sent them to the island on Candlemere some time ago, and they just vanished in the thin air. I beg you, find these scoundrels and retrieve my treasure. I'll pay a handsome sum to be sure these villains are brought to justice. You don't seem like a local. Why would you keep these possessions of yours on the island in the middle of Candlemere Lake? Well, you see, these aren't exactly my possessions right now. It's just... I learned from the locals about the ruins of an ancient temple on the island, and everyone knows where there's a temple, there's always a hopeless and treasure. So he's going to go and rob these ruins, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you believe that some sacred relics from the temple of an unknown deity belong to you. By what right? By the right of finding... I dug up all the stories about the temple. I hired the crew. I pointed out where to start the search. Besides, no harm done. No one ever really goes there anyway. There aren't many volunteers willing to visit a cursed island. Oops, I'm just talking gibberish. Heard some gossip somewhere, and here I am spilling it all on you. It's nothing, your grace. Just a big fat load of nothing. Some empty talk about someone sacrificing someone else there. And as for the ghostly lights, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for that. Same with the flash of light over the ruins. Um, which deity was the temple de dedicated to? Who cares? I don't know. I never asked. All I heard is that long ago the locals used to perform some rituals there, dedicated to some ancient deity. 
wow, this is a terrible view. But anyway, some rituals, some ancient deities. Now, that's what I call getting into details. With deep knowledge like that, you could easily write a book. You could call this opus magnum of yours some encyclopedia. Someone offered sacrifices there, and I suppose we're not talking about animal sacrifices. The locals say things. Something about that being why the place is cursed. What ghostly lights are you talking about? The lights were strange, you know. They were brighter than fireflies in different colors. You can see them even from the shore. During the day, they're barely visible, but at night, people say they're the restless souls of those who met their deaths on the island. Seems like Willis is talking about will o wisp Malevolent creatures made of light that fear, feed on fears and other negative emotions. We ran into one at the Wizard Folk Village that came from Candlemere Lake. Um, you mentioned a flash of light over the ruins. Did you see it with your own eyes or just hear about it from someone else? I saw it with my own eyes and just recently, almost blinded me, like half the island suddenly burst into flames. When the locals saw it, they fell to their knees and started to pray. They said that the old god had returned. Dimwits, what else would you expect from them? Says the king of Dimwits. I guess that's all I need to know about the island. Whatever you say, my baroness. Who are you? I guess I should have asked that first, but... Hey, what he was saying is a bit was a bit more important. But anyway, who are you? Willius Gunderson, your grace. I'm a scientist, an explorer, an adventurer, and a renowned expert in treasures and artifacts of virtually every era and culture. So many tiles for a single piece of mediocrity. Sir, Sir Narthropel, you're here? What a nice su surprise. Oh, really? In case you hadn't noticed, I've been here from the start. Or perhaps after the open lecture in the foray Logos in Absalom. You've lost not only the rest of your mind, but also your eyesight? I see your manners have improved since last we met. Well, happily, I no longer consider you the beacon of knowledge you once were. You can joke however you like. I'm above such discourse. The only thing that puts you above me is your size, Willis, and even that isn't so impressive for a human. Oof. Um, tell me about those who tricked you. They were a trio I hired to retrieve my possessions from Candlemere's Island turned out to be a bunch of tricksters. You must know the place, in the center of the lake with the ancient temple ruins. So they took my money, jumped in the boat, and whoosh, gone with the wind. So many days have passed and not a single word from them, and they had the nerve to call themselves a paladin and a cleric. Scum is what they really are. I'm starting to think that something happened to them. If they're a paladin and a cleric, I'm not sure of what god, but if it's like Erastil or Sarenrae, they probably didn't jip him. They probably died, or they're stuck. Can you tell me more about them? A ranger, a paladin of Irori, and a cleric of Nethith. In line one, in the perfect human god in line and stuff. Okay, that doesn't seem like a bad god. A cleric of Nethith. Um, they're both gods of knowledge. Um, you know that two-faced god... Frankly speaking, that one gave me creeps from the very beginning. Half of those servants in Nethys are real psychos. Today, today they agree to help you, and tomorrow they change their minds with, at the drop of, that, of a hat. And this one played his tricks on me too. A paladin and a cleric who willingly took a job running errands for you? Sounds strange, if you ask me. You know, Your Grace, when I mentioned the old temple, they exchanged a glance like I was talking about some hidden treasure. I was such a fool. I should have realized from the start that they had their own agenda. Let's go back to my other questions. Uh, fine, I'll try to figure it out. Praise Desna. Don't let those scoundrels leave with my treasure. The great dreamer, Lady Luck, and Mother Moon. If you manage to learn something new, please let me know. I'm staying at the tavern in the center of town. That's where I'll wait for good news. Alright. Looks like we got a new quest. Part of troll trouble. All right, so we're gonna head over to the cur um to the lake Candlemere Lake. But when we um, I think that yeah, we'll just do that. Might as well. Oh, and um, I mentioned that I was going to show this off at the end of last episode. So we weren't able to really do much of these. We did the um the dwarven helm shards. And that was the only one that we we were able to do with locations we've already been to. The other ones, we'd have to go to new locations, and I didn't want to go out of the way for that. But this is the item here, the Trailblazer Helm. Just kind of let you 
go through that. But the big thing is that Helmet gives his wearer DR, damage reduction of 2 against range attacks, 10 against falling and thrown rocks, and the ability to cast Good Hope and Crushing Despair spells once per day at a caster level of 11, DC save of 17. So it's really strong. Also gives a plus 3 bonus to AC and a plus 3 insight bonus to saving throws against the enemies of giant goblinoid subtypes. So any giant creatures... Um, any giants or goblins will will have a, um, a a resist against and um, increased throw uh, increased rolls and I think that's because it's a dwarven helm and those are the creatures that dwarves have a uh, advantage Quiet against. Footsteps. All right. So we're gonna take the usual crew and we're gonna head over to uh, Candlemere Lake. So I'll see you in a minute. So I was going to the uh, to the main square to start buying um, equipment for us to go to Candlemere Lake, and uh, I ran to Kanera and she wanted to ask us a favor, and it is voiced. At least this part was, so this should be important. I can't believe I'm going to ruin such a wonderful moment with a serious conversation. But still, I think you're interested in me the way I'm interested in you. And if that's true, please. Everything that happens between us is a secret from everyone, even your companion. Um, so I was trying to make a joke with Kanera. She was talking about flirting with one of the, the, um, the traitors when, um, by haggling with them. And I mentioned that she could have other places, other people and other things to flirt with. And she mentioned me and I, I made, I was trying to be, a, like, joking with her and say that modesty isn't one of my flaws because she was talking about how it isn't modest if I meant that and we went to go in in here and talk and this is something that came up um but I guess I uh I guess I'll just go along with it don't see why not but why I like you I don't want to keep it a secret for one thing I don't want to draw too much attention at least for now having too many eyes on me a little uncomfortable. Plus, I'm still bound by the conditions of the Herald of Morton and must try to keep my double identity a secret. If everyone begins whispering that Kayesi has grown close to the Baroness, they'll expect her to behave in a certain way. And I know my sister. She won't be able to play along, and the secret won't stay hidden for long. Alright, a secret it is then. Oh, and, and Kanera is, um... So, the, like, the two different forms of K, of Kaisi, as she said it, um, one is fire and the other one's like water, and she's the one of fire, I believe. But fine, a secret is then. Help. The land where I come from is full of opposites. Sometimes it feels hot during the day, but the rocks melt under the sun like snow. It sometimes night, and the cold freezes you to the bone. Night is the time when families gather at the fireplace and parents hold their children and when lovers share the heat of their bodies and fill their hearts with each other's heat as they drift on to sleep. I want to show you how it's done. Oh, I guess we just had a romantic moment with her. Precisely. Interesting. What's this? Um, that's her sister's poems. Can't pick that. Okay. Alright, but I will start us up again if we run into anything too important, but I don't know if we will or not. But if we don't, we'll, we'll cut back to when we are at the Candlemere Lake. So we just arrived at the Candlemere Lake. Uh, well, the Candlemere Tower, to be more precise. And so let's start looking around. Quiet footsteps. Really? Like, is this supposed to be snow or fog or a mix of both? Precisely. 
That almost that kind of scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, got a couple wisps. There's probably more than one. Consider me provoked. Tear them apart. I grant you death. Oh, guess there wasn't. Oh, we should probably switch back to. Actually, we'll leave her with that. Let's see here. Got another wisp. Yep. Ooh, wow, they messed up Valerie real good. Oh, there's another one behind us. Oh, there's. We are surrounded by them. Okay, this this view sucks. Like it's really bad at setting up these. Uh... Okay, they're immune to electric, but they're vulnerable to magic missile. Okay, let's um heal. God, that heal is so good. Me. Wow. Okay, you crit. Mm -hmm. Is this like? I'm gonna save that. Go with magic missile on this guy. They go down. There we go. Nope, you need to stay raging or you're gonna become fatigued. Your death there we go. Nice and easy there. Let's um, let's just heal again. Get everyone kind of healthy. Nowhere to run. Yeah, I'm missing so much. Do not hold back. This is for you. Okay, Myri's turn. Here we go. Okay, let's use Tristan to uh, just heal one more time. That that should be enough. He heals a lot with that AOE healing. I known better. Another attack. Gonna start using um, spell slots now. Because we're definitely going to need to rest before we enter the tower. I don't even know what's in the tower, but I have a strong feeling we're gonna need to. Bring it. I'm gonna go around here. Okay, I guess we can't really go much else here. I guess I'll climb the hill. I don't see why not. Oh. Grant me strength. Maybe that's why you don't climb the hill. Wow, we're just getting nuked. We just got nuked. What the sh what the shit? Uh, 
Um, I think we just, we're gonna wipe. Like, that was just so sudden. But this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna cut here and we'll be back after we kill these. Or if we die, um, I'll start back before we did the, uh, the skill check. So we managed to kill them, but I did not do it on my first try. Um, one thing I I should have known earlier, much earlier in this playthrough, is that if you are if you fully buff up and all that before going into a fight, it ch it drastically changes how the fight goes. So having known that this fight was here, I buffed up down here, giving like um, blessing, buffed everyone up increased uh um Amiri's size and everything we were able to do it without much issue we did it in about two turns after that but they wiped us out immediately when we weren't prepared so since we're up here we might as well go in the tower precisely oh and i should save uh okay Trespassers, are you so eager to die? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, soon the whole world will know my name. Two-Faced Rizmel, Keeper of the Gates, Harbinger of Nephis. I have many names, and you shall pay fealty to them all. The All-Seeing Eye has brought me here, to this sanctuary of magic. Others came, but they did not survive the trials. I am the only one who hears the words of Nephis, and can open the gates for him. Then the All-Seeing Eye will reward his chosen. I will become a ward in his new era. An enchanted sanctuary, gates to other worlds, they are here, in these ruins? Silence, you're too blind to see what surrounds you, vibrant, bright, glorious to those who have embraced the arcane and mastered its power. Nephis himself led me here, his voice rings in my head, calling from the portal, all these writings, all these wandering lights, only the blind cannot see the coming of the all-seeing eye. Irony. So watch your tongue, the moment nears when I open the portal and let Nethys into this world. Fear my ward's wrath, for there will be no escape for blasphemers. Um, so the great Nethys is just beyond this portal, yet the god of magic can't cross over on his own? Ha. Huh. One more word, insect, and you'll witness it yourself. Um, let's assume Nethys waits beyond the portal, but what's beyond the portal exactly? Can you feel it? No, of course you can't. The whole tower bears marks of the arcane. Look around you. Can you see these writings? Since ancient times, Weavers knew a portal lay here, so they left signs herald heralding the arrival of Nephis. Some say this place is cursed. Cursed? Only fools can claim this place is cursed. On the contrary, this tower, this portal, is a true blessing for those who can grasp its real greatness. What do, you, what do the writings say? I'll find out. When he comes, when he shares his boundless wisdom with me, I'll find out everything I want. Will o' wisp roam the island. How did you get past them? Will o' wisps don't devour flesh. They feed on suffering and fear. The island is full of them. Since the times when the temple was sanctioned with, sanctified with human blood. Besides, there was no fear in my heart, only joy and awe, for I was to meet my God and Master. Enough about this place. Who are the others you came here with? Who? Ah, oh, you're talking about those who came to the island with me. They are gone. One of them gave up halfway here. I know nothing of his fate. And the second, the miserable creature, he... He kept talking how knowledge must belong to everyone. Wisdom should be shared. This must be the paladin. About telling others about this place. He kept talking and talking, so I silenced him. If comfort... Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. No matter if this island is cursed or not, you're not in your right mind. You don't know what you're doing. How dare you? Nethys himself guides me. How dare you judge a chosen one of the all-seeing eye? As you listen to Rizmel, you can't stop frowning. Something is clearly not right. Not just with the man, but his words. Nethys, the mad deity of magic and wizardry, never speaks directly to his followers. His followers take pride in this. Who, who succeeded this roll? Wow, we rolled a nat 20 on that. Um... His followers take pride in this, for their god is much too great to lower himself to such base forms of expression. 
Whoever or whatever is Malheur beyond the portal is not Nethys. Listen to yourself. Nethys speaks to me. Nethys has chosen me. You know your god does not waste his time on mortals. How long are you going to lie to yourself, claiming the voice in your head belongs to Nethys? I, I, but it's just, I am the chosen one. I knew it, always, the chosen one, different from the others. I'll find the proofs that you're wrong. I'll leave you be. Farewell. All right, we're going to look around here and find the proof that that is not. Whoa, what's this? Full plate rank two. Well, we're putting that on her. She's starting to look really freaking cool. This helmet looks dumb as sin now on her. Over here. Done and done. Quiet footsteps. Can we go up here? Well, is there anything up here? Is the question. Nope. Guess not. To victory. All right. All right. You. How she got decimated. I always survive. Ancient will of the wisp. Level sixteen, huh? Great. Cannot hide from me. No, what what are you doing? No All right, we'll just take a hide. shot here and miss horribly. Great. Okay, we knocked that guy down at least. Use this. Use both of these. Your death awaits. Crit of 58. That was really good. Consider me provoked. Hmm. Okay, we're going to move right here. And get this prayer off. Okay, we need to just walk back first. That does take priority because every shot he takes is going to cause an attack of opportunity. I'll loot your corpse. This I can't hit to save my life. We have Bless on. Guess these guys just have a much higher. Yeah, they have a 27 armor class. Okay, we're going to move up a bit more so we can try to get the dog too with this. Okay, Amiri's at 1 HP. Okay, we're going to switch to this. Let us try this one. Big shots with this. They have 136 hit, hit points. I'll try to knock it down. That really didn't work though. They don't hit, like they only hit hard with their with that one spell. I'll fight if I have to. Let's um use this again. I gave her thirty six hit point well thirty five hit points. Do not hold back. We'll go for this. There we go. Finish this guy off, hopefully. Before he goes. Cover me. Me. 
Let's pray. Did that not work? Do not play no the same light again. It didn't go off, but. Or if it just didn't show the effect. Pick up this sweet syrup. Okay, are we able to rest up here? Because I'm going to need to. We can rest here. I don't know if, how good of an idea it is, but. It's let me. I admire your optimism. Even when the situation seems desperate, your smile never leaves your face. Are we talking about Octavia? Do you know how many desperate situations Reg and I survived in Lunaria? And we're all right. We got out of all of them. We'll handle whatever comes. <laughs> Well, that's not good. With our luck, we're gonna get ambushed. Cause that camp can't move. Yup. Why did I jinx it? Why did I jinx it? Wait, primal spider patriarch? What the di- Wait. Okay, we're gonna do this. Crushing despair. Expect to be minus two on attack rules. We're gonna use this. Uh, hey, poop. Wow, I missed so like my rolls were so bad. It's really one of the only ways to actually hit the, that creature. take a bite and we're like it feels like we're rolling really low we rolled an a plus the modifier of 14 and it had a armor class of 23 so we had to roll a nine and it would have hit and we couldn't do that use this i should give it a um more, like, more chance to hit. And we're gonna put this on a Myri. You missed three times in a row. Like, look, it's, she rolled a fucking, like, we're rolling so low. Stay behind me. Bless. Like, we're just gonna stack the living shit out of her with, um, with abilities. If they work, I'm not even sure if they are. She read um she saved against the poison, which is good. We're just gonna try to kill one of these. She just can't. They go down. 
Take a bite, please kill. Wow, you rolled a six. What is this? Okay, it's got crushing despair on it for another ten minutes. This is for you. So yeah, its uh, attacks are gonna be a lot lower. It rolled a thirteen, and it, I have an armor class of thirty-three right now. Not fully sure. Oh, okay, that's how. Oh, we staggered it. There we go. Now we can rest. All right, let's uh, head out here. Okay, that's the um the knight that he killed. Oh, God damn it. More of this shit. Sunflower. Grant me I can't keep this up much longer. Avenge me. Ancient, ancient, oh no, ancient, and then one war, uh, and then two war wisps. They all will save, huh? Alright, we will be right back. So we just finished that fight. It went really poorly, so I just ended up restarting, um, like reloading. I believe I found something. I hate that I have to do, like, like save scum like this but it's almost necessary when you have invisible enemies that can literally take out your tank and and like in a single surprise round i just don't know what else i'm supposed to do besides just buff up and like before like make sure i'm buffed up at all times when i'm in areas that i'm not familiar with which is just kind of like i understand that like the reasoning behind it but it's just annoying. Oh, this looks unique. What is this? Ancestral Dwarven Shield. Damage reduction of, of two. What ha Can she use this without any repercussions? Don't hesitate. I don't know. Seems like it's strong though. What did I give her that? Seems like a badass shield. All right, but we're gonna end the episode here. It's gonna be a little longer than I than I anticipated, but we're gonna end here. And next episode, we will keep looking around Candlemere Tower here and try to find proof that what um, he um, said that it's Nephis on the other side of that portal. We're going to have to prove, it, um, prove that he's wrong. All right, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.